Hello everybody, how are you all doing? This is Mario from the Watch Frame. You know, the Rolex Explorer 36mm, the new one, it's an awesome watch, but it has a, a significant uh, flaw, in my opinion, which is the lack width. It's 19mm. It makes a very, very nice watch, a, a great one. Uh, a great design, but it's harder to get straps for, for a 19mm uh, watch, obviously. And not only that, the lock hole position is very close to the case, in such a way that the spring bar allows almost no space to put the strap. It's around 1mm. And let's not forget that the case has a small indent to allow the end link of the bracelet to match in a more secure way, I guess. Talking of the bracelet, to remove it, you will need special tools, as the gap to access the spring bars is too small for conventional removal tools. In short, we have the following obstacles to overcome. 19mm lag, small gap in with the case and the spring bar, the indent, and the removal of the bracelet. Well, there is nothing we can do with the indent in the case. All we can do is learn to live with it. But for the rest of the issues, we have solutions. First, we will need this kind of tool, the Bergion 7825. It's kind of expensive, but well worth the price. Second, curved strong spring bars. I opted to buy a few heavy duty ones from eBay, and I bend them myself with this other tool. Third, we will need straps, 19mm or 20mm very flexible straps. There is no other way around. There are not many 19mm straps out there, but there are quite a few and of good quality too. Here are some examples that I've got with my own money. 19mm Simple Italian by Watchgecko in light and dark brown. Another 19mm red one from Watchgecko 2. A 19mm tropical strap by Gemma. 19mm leather olive strap by Bulang & Sons. Amazing quality. 19 and 20mm Sulu Divers by Watch Keiko. Here a 19mm leather by Colorep in grey and in dark brown. And not to forget this 19mm sail cloth by Watch Keiko. There is really a good supply of nice 19mm quality straps and you have some cheap and affordable ones if you want to. Oh, and if you know of any more also in the EU, please leave a comment. But let's go to the first part of it all. After you make your research and you get your straps, you will need to remove the bracelet using this tool or a similar one. And then do as I did and use a tape to cover and protect the metal of the back of the bracelet and the watch, or you will scratch both watch and bracelet. Put the watch over a soft surface and there is the trick, both to remove and to put it back. The trick is to push both extremes of the end link at the same time and hold it while what you move is the head of the watch away from the end link and to the end link when putting it back on. After removing the bracelet, a normal spring bar removal tool will work. I use the Bergion 6767, but any other of good quality will work. You will need to be very careful too. The Explorer is very versatile and it will work with almost any strap. Let's see some examples.
most of the time the watch is going to be with the bracelet if not always but if you are like me and you want to make changes you can do as i have told you and the watch is going to be perfectly with the straps and you can add a little a little bit of spark with it well that's all for today thank you very much and i hope to see you soon in the next video bye bye